Close your eyes and make a survey of what you have here. You've got the body breathing. You've got the mind thinking and aware. So see what happens when you put all those together. Think about the breath. And be aware of the breath as it's coming in, as it's going out. And it's when you start asking questions about it, that's when you can develop it. Meditation is not simply a matter of not thinking. You have to ask the right questions. First question is, how do you get the mind to settle down? Well, part of it is learning how to let go of your other thoughts. And part of it is good, giving it a good place to stay. So what can you do with the breath to make this a nicer place to stay? You can experiment with longer breathing, shorter breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep or shallow. See what feels good right now. And then look at the mind. Is there anything the mind has to let go of? As you go through the day, you pick up all kinds of thoughts, all kinds of emotions and moods. Any of them hanging around right now? Can you put them down? And if they don't want to be put down, you ask, ask yourself, well, what's the allure? Why do you feel so attached to them? Sometimes it's because you feel you have to think them. Other times it's because you would like to think them. Even when the thoughts get you angry. It's a part of the mind that likes anger, likes getting worked up. But can you trust that part of the mind? You're trying to develop a refuge here inside and trying to sort out which parts of the mind are reliable and which ones are not. Right now, the ones that want you to settle down, those are the reliable ones. Because when you settle down, you can see the mind a lot more clearly. So those thoughts are headed in the right direction. So what you're doing here is taking potentials and making the most of them by putting them together. It's like a seed. You you have a seed in one place, and soil in another place, and water in another place, and sunlight in another place. The seed is not going to grow. But when you put all those things together, then the seed will grow. So put the body and the mind together right here. Otherwise the mind goes wandering off other places and abandons the body. It doesn't totally abandon it, but it's not paying attention. So the body is left to its own devices. It's like a corporation which the the chairman of the board is off wandering someplace else. That means the lower echelons have to be making the decisions. Sometimes they make good decisions, sometimes not. But you don't really know unless you inspect them. So stay right here. Watch what's going on in the body. Watch what's going on in the mind right now. And you can sort things out really clearly. What's skillful, what's not skillful. What will be to your long-term welfare and happiness? What will be to your long-term harm and pain? So pay attention right here. That doesn't mean you, you never think about other thoughts. You do. But you think about things that are really necessary to think about. Otherwise you come back here. And you'll find there's a lot of chatter going in the mind. It doesn't have to be there and it doesn't accomplish any purpose. And it's getting in the way of seeing what's going on right here. So you want to put that aside. This way the potentials that you have right here in the body and the mind start getting developed. Like the plant, like the seed that finally gets the sun and the, and the water. The good things in your mind can grow. We look at the world outside right now, it's a pretty bleak place. So you need to grow the seeds of a good mind to provide yourself with the shelter that you need, and to provide some shelter and some protection for the people around you.